Here we go. Here we go. One, one, ready? Shot! Let's get set! Shot! Gun, gun! Shot! Shot!
Fun times in Cleveland ahead as we join you by the lakeshore here at Cleveland Brown Stadium. It's all about divisional matchups on this final day of the regular season, and we've got a compelling one in store here as it'll be the Lumberjacks of Canton taking on the Cleveland Browns. Evan McPherson has this one teed up, and off we go from Cleveland. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. of two straight, so trying to turn things around here. And you just mentioned two straight, and when you're talking about two games, that's nothing to panic about. They feel like they've been a little bit unlucky in the last couple. This is a club that's more than capable of turning things around, and I expect them to play really well here. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. And all off the crossbar, no good. A sensational effort from that distance, but rejected by the bar. Well, he had that one on target. That's half the battle. The other half of the battle, however, is distance. And he nearly had that, too. But it was a crossbar that said otherwise. And that'll deny him a shot at three. Well, this offense got to be loving this. After the long miss field goal, they'll take over on the other side of the 50. First and 10. Mixon with a first down carry. And he'll work down inside the 45. If you look at this Browns defense, right now they're ranked number 29 in the NFL against the pass, so fourth from the bottom charts. And I think you're going to see some changes in the offseason, whether it's through the draft, free agency, maybe even both. They definitely need some help in the secondary. Open man is Kyle Pitts, his tight end. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. Tony Field charges in their part and drops him for a loss of 12 from that outside linebacker position. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. This goes out wide for Mixon. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now it's Burrow. And it's caught. Touchdown. Jamal Chase. His 21st touchdown of the season. And the Lumberjacks will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Extra point by McPherson up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. 
After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And yeah, they were in field goal range the last time out, but couldn't connect. And it's early in the game, so I don't think that the confidence just goes entirely out of, you know, running your kicker back out there. But let's face it, some coaches have a little bit less patience for that than others. Let's see if they call the game differently now in terms of what they do on drives and not try and settle for field goals. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. Gain of just one. From the 48-yard line, here's the second and nine. Watson, off play action. That's caught by his tight end, Jordan Akins. And he goes deep, but not before getting this inside the 25. First down, Felton, and he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Well, this defense, Charles, really played well in that win a week ago. I have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw on tape because they stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire game, ended up getting four sacks total, and made it difficult for him to step up and find receivers downfield. Also made it hard for him to escape the pocket and run. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing on third down, Watson. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. Trying to cover Cooper there a little too closely. And he's such a tough cover because he runs his route so well. Hard to stay with him and hard to figure out exactly where the break points are. And in this case, he created another pass interference call. Felton is not going to get back to the line of scrimmage as they'll tackle him at the three. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. So they're backed up to the three yard line, second and goal. Felton again. And he takes this one in for the Turn this from deep in the end zone. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10 yard line. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. First down. Here's Burrow. And he's got taken down, sacked back at the two. Release first, gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. I think most quarterbacks would love to have the goal line actually extend up into the air and turn into a wall. They can put their back against it and know exactly where they are on the field so they don't end up in the end zone. Didn't do it on that play, but perilously close to the goal line. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw. It's knocked away. Up in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Burrow from his own end zone. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. Burrow looking to pass. 
That one taken in by T. Higgins. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. Play action. It's Burrow. And this one is going to be off the mark. Too far out in front. Not sure what happened out there. But the timing was a little off on that throw. But you don't have a defender. So what am I going to say? Great defense. Darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. Now Burrow. Finding Nixon here again on back-to-back -back plays. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. And they'll use him out of the backfield and sometimes quite a bit. They're just trying to get him touches any way they can. Four catches a week ago, there's another one right there. To the air again, Burrow. Short throw, caught by Pitts. And a result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. From the 20, here's second down and two. Now it's Burrow. This is caught. Touchdown! Joe Mixon, his 17th touchdown now on the season. And the Lumberjacks go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you... And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. Now Burrow on first down. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll be taken down after a gain of about eight, as that will lead us to the two-minute warning. Going to give this to Mixon. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Joe Mixon with his 13th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Lumberjacks have taken a two touchdown lead now. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And it's now 21 to 7. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little momentum back that way. 
But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. Oh, and that's kind of how it's gone for them so far. That was a ball they need to get back in this game. A quick strike, a big play. But he led his guy too far, and it winds up over his head. Now a play fake, and it's Watson. And that is incomplete. I think it's safe to say he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now. But he was fortunate on that one not to have another turnover on his ledger. Pulled in at the 24. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And they will take over first and 10. Gun, gun. The offense back out there at the line ready for their next drive. They have been red hot, sometimes white hot here in this first half. They're just looking to add to that total right now. And this has to serve as a reminder to myself because so many times they get wrapped up in the play calling, how they've sequenced things, how it's run. But you know, at the end of the day, it's still execution. Those guys out on the field, and right now they are locked in and really looking good. They'll try to continue to be locked in here as we get ready to approach halftime. The 20! And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Big gains in succession. Last one was over 20. This one over 30. Here we go. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. To mix it on the check down. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. And Burrow going to throw again. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Now the timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Third and two. Now Burrow. Got a man and he hits him in stride. Touchdown. Joe Mixon in the final seconds of the first half. And the Lumberjacks would extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point by McPherson up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Four seconds, all that remain here in this first half as the kick gets away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. The final shot before the break. Watson flushed to his right. That one behind his receiver and incomplete. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Now this will be returned from deep in the end zone. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. It's a foot race. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown. 
And you've used the phrase with me before, pressing the kicking game. What exactly does that mean? Because they did it there. It means focusing on it, all aspects of it, because it's the third part of the game, offense, defense, special teams. If you press the kicking game, create an advantage, make a big play, it often leads to victory. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Off of play action, it's Watson. And that's going to be incomplete. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well, so give some credit to the defense. From the gun on third, Watson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And yeah, they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. On first down, it's Watson. He's going to loft it deep right sideline. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. Under pressure now, Watson, and down he goes. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And to the 12. That's where it stops. The return is halted at the 12-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for them. So what's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football because they got the other team down, and they feel good about the position they're in. The obvious thing people would say is just keep attacking, but I think you also have to be smart about it. Avoid turnovers. That's about the only thing that can derail you at this point. Attack, but make sure you take care of the ball. Something we haven't really seen much of from him, an incomplete pass. Yeah, last week he finished at 70%. This week he's up over 80%. I don't know how... And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back at his own three-yard line. On the corner blitz that time, the sack goes to Denzel Ward. Now Joe Burrow on third and long. Oh, first mistake for him in the ball game as it's intercepted. Picked up by Ron Thornhill, and he'll bring it back to the nine-yard line. Well, to be blunt, not a whole lot has gone right for this defense in this ball game, but that's something right there still in the third quarter. It would, it would take something around miracle territory for a comeback, but maybe that's a start, Charles. It certainly is, and they're definitely showing that there's some fight still left in them. Hasn't been a banner day. But they're trying their best to put that disappointment behind them and find ways to make plays. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. And oh, it'll be intercepted. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you, and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself how you show your team that you're still with it and how you continue to lead. And he's going to take this across the 50 into Brown's territory. The linebacker, Jeremiah Wusu-Koromoa, on the tackle. 
Here's a second and five. Burrow will throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Juan Thornhill, and the Browns are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at about the 32. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. Man open here is Jones. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. Here we go. 11 MT, 11 MT. Here's Burrow. Escaping the pressure right. Boy, I took a real chance with that one, but it's incomplete. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job. And it's caught. Touchdown. Jamar Chase, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Lumberjacks have taken a five-touchdown lead. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. The Browns drive about to get started. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this, no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. Third down and 13. Watson now to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. A big play that time for Cleveland, 48 yards. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. His throw caught at about the five. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. A really nice gain of 25 yards. It'll be first and goal when we come back. Out of the gun, Watson. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Pass the 10 to the 11-yard line, and that's where the return stops. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. 
And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. The throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. And he will step out of bounds, but not before he's all the way across the 50. And a huge play that time. 42 yards. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 15 more yards there, and quickly another first down. On the option left, it's Burrow. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. He's forced out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Gun, gun. Shot. 11, 11. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Greg Newsom. And he will take this across midfield and down the 48 yard line. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Throwing on third down, Watson. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. We've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. And I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. And that's going to be caught for the Browns. Touchdown. of revenge as they cut in. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Uh, let me go ahead and show my age a little bit. I liked it when they would fake it from the three-yard line, right? When you'd line up, go ahead, and oh, there's a fake, and uh, he's going to get two. That's great. But from the 15, the risk-reward is just not there. It's so risky to get 15 yards on a fake. Well, you see the result right there. Yeah, I know these young whippersnappers are trying to do different things in this game, but let's go back to old reliable. Kick the ball through the purse. Get off my lawn. That's darn right. On two, ready? The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And they're looking at a third straight win here if they can hold on. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. On third down, Burrow. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Jeremiah owusu Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. They'll try to run this one in. And he's in. Touchdown. Demetrik Felton for his second touchdown of the game, number seven of the year. And the Browns. 
Browns take the forced turnover on defense and convert it into six points. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. Now defensively here, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. New York ready, and here we go as he sends this one away. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. At their own 21-yard line. On one, ready? The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And this one has gone pretty well to form. They've come in, had little problem thus far, and now they'll try to polish things off in the fourth. He's got a man complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. This went into the hands of Pitts. And touchdown! Kyle Pitts, 48 yards. And the Lumberjacks are on their way to a 13th win on the year as they add on to their lead. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Cleveland offense ready to go. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory. But it is... It got his man complete! And he will step out of bounds all the way down inside the 40. A big play that time for Cleveland. 41 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Watson... And this one is incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Here's Watson now on second down. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. Touchdown, Browns! Flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. It's caught inside the 10. And he gets into the end zone. We'll give him credit. They're not going to take this deficit lying down. They get too closer here on the fake extra point. And the hands team does its job. They're able to secure it. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation. And now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need... Got a man. It's caught inside. And now look at this. Big game but a fumble. And this is going to get out of bounds through the end zone. And that will go as a turnover as the defense will get it at the 20-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. Now we'll play fake, and it's Watson. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. But at this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blank at the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. They blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. 
And now here's another interception. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. Across midfield. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And he will find his man Chase complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Now Burrow. Toward the pylon, caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the 1 yard line. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Hey, we gotta go score. Nixon. Is going backwards here. Now they come in and drop him all the way back at the four-yard line. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Burrow looking to pass. Now he's got it. Touchdown. Jamar Chase from four yards out. And the Lumberjacks have opened up a four-touchdown lead here in the fourth. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he will be brought out here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Cleveland offense ready to go. Facing a big fourth quarter deficit here. Things not looking good. You know, this offense, though, they've been in the top half of the NFL so far this season. But in this one, where their defense has really struggled. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive. But this is going to wind up incomplete. Now a second and ten. Throwing again is Watson. He's going to let it fly. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Antonio Johnson. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now it looks like he'll throw here. This goes out wide for Nixon. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Partner, I know we're still in the afternoon slate here. Some primetime games still on the docket, but it's going to be tough to top this effort. What an offensive performance we have seen. They have been unstoppable from the moment we began this game. And they're not holding back. They're still throwing the football here in the fourth. They certainly are. And let me tell you something. If you're old school, you don't like this at all. But in today's football, you just go ahead and savor it. Watch a team execute at a high level. It doesn't matter what the scoreboard says. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, they're up comfortably here, Charles, but that lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if anything, with these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive. And give them another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. McPherson on for the point after. Now, this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. 63, Browns 27. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. 
And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. He's to the 15, and he's across for the touchdown. Too little, too late. and that Browns offense is going to stay out there and they'll go for two. They'll look to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. In trouble and the ball's out. It's in the end zone loose. And he will get into the end zone. They cut the lead a little bit further. It would no doubt be a miracle comeback from here. But let's see what they can do starting with the onside kick. And they've got it. They recovered it. But hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. Well, CD, you understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, in such a high-stakes scenario, everyone's feeling the pressure on this play. The special teams coordinator, which one is he going to pick in terms of kicks? Can the kicker execute it? Can the team wait for 10 yards? So many variables, and in this case, they didn't get it done. Second and 10. Now they go play action now. Burrow. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. The CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way and worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. The incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense can crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Greg Newsom. to get started and they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing trailing here in the fourth quarter this would be their third straight defeat and my goodness another interception and he'll take it across midfield to the 46 yard line They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Martin Emerson. And the Browns are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. The Cleveland offense ready to go. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out.